Well, um, was there a time where the times when I was um, in despair? Yes, there were. I remember the day I, I was the, 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 the grown-up in the house. My mother had gone back to the Eastern Cape to her father's dying bed. My father had lost his job and gone out to sea with ships that go on long distance fishing and wouldn't be back for about six months. I was left with my younger siblings. I'm the second of eight kids. And my brother was away, had already left the country. And there I was with uh, five younger siblings, my three kids, including the baby. And mom had left us with some money but she stayed away so long, everything ran out. We ran out of money, we ran out of food, and there were all these eyes looking at me expectantly. And uh, that's a day I will never forget. That's the one day in my entire life that I felt suicidal. But thank God I didn't act on that feeling. Maybe I'm a coward, but I'm happy to be still alive. And um, I remember what I did. It has subsequently become a, 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 a children's book called, uh, that story called The Best Meal Ever. I came back and I looked at my kids and my younger siblings and I conned them into believing there was food in the house. I got very busy pumping the primer stove and making the flame bigger and smaller. There was a pot on that stove and it started boiling and I put sugar and I put pepper and, and I stirred it until one by one everybody fell asleep and I switched the primer stove off because there was nothing in that pot except God's clean water.